Sugar factories in Tanzania produce about 40,000 tons of molasses annually, most of which is not reused. On the other hand, insect-borne diseases like malaria, Rift Valley fever, and lymphatic filariasis remain public health problems in low-income countries. For an example, in Tanzania, malaria remains a major health problem with prevalences as high as 26% in some parts of the country. Since the major attractant cue for disease-transmitting insects to identify humans is the carbon dioxide gas emitted by people, I propose a novel mechanism for generating carbon dioxide by fermenting molasses, a common sugar factory byproduct. The CO2 generated will be used to attract mosquitoes in vector control and monitoring intervention, while venas, a molasses fermentation residue after distilling to remove ethanol, as well as surplus molasses, will be sold to farmers for soil enrichment as both are rich in minerals. The ethanol will be sold to secondary schools to be used in chemistry class illustration where it is required. This innovation uses the principles of social entrepreneurship that address health needs, agricultural productivity needs, and educational needs. It will be a low-cost and sustainable means for monitoring and controlling mosquito-borne diseases while also providing income and employment to community members.